Hello comic book fans and welcome, this is David Lees. I'm hoping to show you in the near future Transformers 18. It's been released in this last week. Things are a little different here as you can imagine with the coronavirus and we are in self-isolation. Fortunately I've been able to connect, connect with my local comic book store, uh, Forbidden Planet, and they'll be doing home deliveries. Uh, they package together two or three comics at a time, send them home, uh, and I pay postage and uh, comic book price. So it's best and most economical to have them with two or three issues at a time. So we're going to have to wait a little. There will be a short delay, uh, longer than usual. But that's all, as you can imagine, part of the course, part for the course at the moment. So that's the way things are going. I would instead like to bring you a fantastic comic book that's a special one-off issue. Um, I saw this on the Forbidden Planet mailing uh, new comics list and thought, I'll have that. Uh, it's Transformers Power of the Predacons. Didn't know when I ordered it if it was going to be the Beast Wars Predacons, the G1 Predacons, or what it was going to be. Um, but I thought, yep, yeah, 100 pages. Uh, it was, I think it was four four pounds fifty. It was five dollars ninety nine. Uh, I think they charged me four fifty for it in sterling. I thought I'll give it a go. 100 pages can't go too far wrong, and I was right. Really pleased. I'll move through this fairly quickly, um, even more quickly than usual. Um, but we have Spotlight Jazz, Dawn of the Predacus, Beast Wars The Gathering Part 1, What's in a Name, which is the G1 story, and Grudge Match, which is the follow-on to What's in a Name. Uh, those two both written by Simon Furman, uh, and highly recommended. But yeah, really pleased with this, as I said. Uh, Spotlight Jazz looks at uh, the Predacons, the G1 Predacons. Trax is recounting a story of a fight he had on Cybertron where he ran into the original Predacons, here they are, um, and was saved by Jazz. I won't give too much of the story away. It is an older story, so you've probably seen it before, but I do love the artwork. This is my kind of style. Uh, not the ultra-modern greys and pastels and you can't make anything out, but not the original uh, Ben Day dots and the hatching kind of style. Really like this intermediate style. Um, nice, strong lines, bright colours, talking my kind of comic book um, but Jazz single-handedly takes on the entire Predacon bunch uh, and triumphs and j tracks because his visual senses are offline never quite identifies who, who it is um, so Jazz becomes the stuff of myth and legend uh, he said he was an Autobot uh, just like you just like you are yeah I never forget what that means that's Ironhide telling tracks um, about how heroic uh, jazz is and how that should be an inspiration to all the Autobots so yeah good story uh, it does kind of extend a little beyond that but that's basically it some lovely inter um, interstitial artwork on the pages between Jazz versus the Predacons uh, really like this if I could get that as a poster or a picture I'd be really pleased moving on this is uh, Dawn of the Predacus so the last days of the Great War uh, Prowl and the for those Beast Wars fans might recognise the Tripredicus, Tripredicus Council. A uh, really good story. Uh, I won't say too much more about it. I'm not as well up on the history of the Tripredicus Council and all that kind of thing. Uh, it does have the original Predacons in it. Uh, combining, causing absolute chaos on Cybertron. Uh, Unicron's head features, as you can see here. Um, so it's, it's a longer story. It's good, and I strongly recommend it too. I'm, as you can see, flying through this pretty quickly. The Beast Wars, the, um, the I'm going to say the original Beast Wars, but there is only one Beast Wars, uh, but yeah, some lovely artwork, uh, the Tripredicus Council um, acting in response to the Beast Wars, the arrival of the Predacons and the Maximals on Earth. Um, oh, I've lost a page there. Ah, that's a tragedy. Um, another Megatron is formed. Uh, and so on, and it's it's a good story. It's more complicated, uh, as you can see, much longer, uh, but well worth a read. And um, I'm trying to remember. I read this a few weeks ago. I haven't revisited properly since. But it's it is a good. It's a lengthy story, and it unfortunately has it to be continued. Um, but it, it is well well worth the read, and definitely worth the money. On that subject, um, if you've not ever, if you've never read. What's in a name? The G1 story, I believe it was in one of the annuals, uh, the UK only annuals. Uh, it turns out that Swoop was once upon a time called Dive Bomb, but Dive Bomb the Predacon stole Swoop's name, forced him to change his name to Swoop, 
and they've been arguing about it ever since. Uh, twist here is that uh, the ground-based uh, Autobot Optimus Prime was the leader of the Flying Corps, uh, go figure, um, and actually saved Swoop from Dive Bomb. Um, and that's how it's said. They arrive on Earth um, and they have a massive scrap, the Decepticons, sorry, the Predacons versus, uh, the Predacons versus the Dinobots. Good scrap for those who've been waiting for it. It was well written, uh, well uh, foreshadowed. You could see it coming, you knew it was coming, and it was well written, well drawn. Uh, this is the original style, and definitely, again, well worth the money to have all those stories in one collection. The advert at the back is for the newest collected presentation of IDW Transformers comics. Not heard about this, but volume 11 will be available in May. Um, it's a little on the high end for price, but if you are a genuine collector, it might appeal to you. Um, and then the back cover in this case is the Tripredicus Council. So there you go. Um, if you've not seen it or ordered it previously, do do from your local comic book store. I'm sure they'll be arranging home delivery in the current climate. Um, and add that to your collection of Transformers comics. I'll be back soon. I have a few more items to review and some upcoming news that I'm very excited about on the Transformers front. Um, so look out for that too. Thanks very much and thank you for watching. Bye for now.